Let me tell you guys something, I just learned about a monitor which I do believe will be the absolute best Quantum Dot OLED 4K 240Hz monitor that you can possibly buy, and this is one that I'm going to be definitely keeping my eyes open for. So if you haven't soiled yourself at least three times today, well, this could be number four because, yeah, this thing is wild. It has everything that I could possibly want. So first of all, of course, the specs we're talking about, Quantum Dot OLED at 32 inches, 4K 240Hz appears to be a flat panel as well, so if you're a flat panel enjoyer, this will be one for you, but do remember that Alienware is going to have what appears to be an 1800R curved one as well, so if you want the technical superiority of a slight curve, there's an option, but enough about that, let's get back to the monitor at hand. So what makes this one so different? Why am I losing my mind over this one when every single other 4K 240Hz Quantum Dot OLED should be the same. By the way, not confirmed to be Quantum Dot OLED, but based on the thousand nits of peak brightness, as well as how early this information spread online, it's very likely this is Quantum Dot OLED. What makes this one so special though? Well, there's one addition here, actually two, that are really, really nice. Let's first start off with the anti-burn-in technology. Now this one is gonna be coming actually from HP and it is the Omen Transcend 32 Ultra HD 240 Hertz OLED gaming monitor. Apparently that's the name, hopefully that's a work in progress, but uh, the first thing to be excited about other than the crazy specs and of course glossy coating that you'll get for the best clarity possible is going to be their quote unquote Omen Tempest monitor cooling technology. Now this information is coming from windowsreport.com, so I'll have a link in the description below so you can check it out for more information, but apparently this is gonna be used to reduce burn-in. Now I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna be some sort of passive cooling or active cooling. One or the other has both their pros and cons, and we'll have to wait and see whether or not this does allow them to push the panel brighter, but in theory it could, as well as reducing burn-in. So this might be one of the brightest options on the market and potentially one of the longer lasting ones as well especially if it ends up being an active cooling model though if it is hopefully they do choose to run that fan at a very low rpm i do not want to hear that but the even larger information here that you should really be getting large about yourself is the connectivity so we're talking about yes it does have hdmi 2.1 yes it's got usb c and it's got all kinds of other usb functionality that frankly i don't care about but what i do really care about is DisplayPort 2.1. Now, why do I care about DisplayPort 2.1? I mean, current GPUs don't even have it. Why should we care? Well, here's why you should care. So DisplayPort 2.1 can actually run 4K 240Hz at 10-bit, which means true HDR, uncompressed 4K 240Hz without the need of DSC or Display Stream Compression. Now, Display Stream Compression mostly is not an issue, however, it's a big issue on NVIDIA graphics cards right now, as every single monitor that I've tried with DSC unfortunately has five second black screens when alt tabbing out of a full screen application such as a game. Now there's also other issues that NVIDIA has with DSC, but that's the biggest one in my opinion, and it's really, really annoying. So not having DSC is gonna be a huge deal. Now I've been in direct talks with NVIDIA. They are looking into the issue. Hopefully it can be resolved, but I can't promise anything, so this would be, in my opinion, the best purchase because not only could it be one of the highest performance displays on the market, but with DisplayPort 2.1, it is future-proof as well. You could pick it up next year, and then later next year, if you wanna pick up a 5080 or 5070 or even 5090 or maybe even 5090 Ti, those almost certainly should have DisplayPort 2.1, and thus you will not have to worry about display stream compression whatsoever it should be a more seamless experience and hey you know what no compression is technically better than compression even if you can't really notice it so that's why i'm very very excited for this one again i'll have the article linked in the description below if you're not subscribed already please do get subscribed as i will be updating you guys on every single quantum dot oled and w oled monitor that's coming out especially if they're glossy because god knows we need more of those. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second.
second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10 bit HDR video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.